Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to My Expanded Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. Folks, it's time to talk about some more short stories here. And the first two short stories come from Star Wars Tales 1 and 2, written by Ron Mars. Now the story is called Extinction, and in this one, Vader pursues after the Dark Woman. Now we know the Dark Woman from some of the past uh, Star Wars comic books, and Star Wars Tales basically finishes her story. Now, I know I talk about Star Wars Tales, and I kind of dog on it a lot because I didn't like a lot of the stories. But this one by Ron Mars is pretty good. Now, Ron Mars is very prolific in the comic book world. He's written a lot of great stories. I've, I'm a big fan of some of his stuff. I have some of his uh, other stuff he wrote for DC and Marvel. But uh, he just, he tackled a Star Wars storyline with Dark Horse, which is actually pretty good. Mar Jade is in it. Uh, I don't know if that makes a difference for some people, but Star Wars Tales started off okay in my book and then eventually just kind of dropped off really, really quickly. But these two uh, stories from Star Wars Tales 1 and 2, it's, con it's a continuation from 1 to the second one, is actually pretty good. And I thought this is what Star Wars Tales was going to be, was a lot of good, solid, short stories. Boy, was I wrong. Now, the next short story comes from Star Wars Tales number 6. It's called The Hovel on Turk Street. It was written by Tom Fassbender and Jim Roscoe. Uh, and in this one, it's basically Greedo getting hired to do a job. We don't see many Greedo short stories in the expanded universe. We see a few here and there. In fact, online, StarWars.com actually had a web strip that followed Greedo from when he was a little boy up until he got shot by Han Solo in Episode 4. Now, I followed that web strip back in the day and loved it. I thought, oh, wow, look, we're getting to see the background of Greedo. And I thought it was really good. Unfortunately, there were way too many contradictions in that web strip, and Star Wars eventually labeled it non-canon because it didn't connect to any of the past stories from Greedo. So it was kind of disappointing. I actually still have them all printed out in one of my folders, and I didn't know there was a contradiction until I started uh, reading more about Greedo and started saying, wait a minute, that's not what the web strip said. And I was like, oh no, is there a big contradiction? No, they already knew that, so it was non-canon. Uh, but it's a shame because I think a book or you know more stories about Greedo would have been interesting. You're thinking, Matt, Greedo, he doesn't seem interesting at all. You can take any character in the expanded universe and make them interesting. Don't believe me? Wait till I get to all the Tales novels that are out there. They take background characters and make them so cool and so interesting. Now, there are probably other people who are like, who cares about Greedo? I don't know. They made four Jabba the Hutt comp books. At least they could have made one dedicated to him. Greedo didn't get no love. What's up with that? Now, the next short story I want to talk about comes from Star Wars Adventure Journal number one. It's called Breaking Free by Dave Marn. And this one, Dan and Lifehold has one more job to do before he gets out of his debt. I bought the Adventure Journals online, you know, at, at a book with all 15 uh, volumes uh, on eBay. You know, I got them for pretty cheap because no one was looking for them back then. But I knew they had short stories in them, so I was like, oh, I want to get them all. So they all came in. I was super happy when they came in, and I started reading them. And of course, the first one I read was Star Wars Adventure Journal number one. And this is one of the books, uh, this is one of the short stories I got to read, and it was actually pretty good. You know, I was like, oh, I get this. You know, he's got one more debt to pay off. A lot of times in West End Games uh, role-playing books, you are borrowing money to build your ship to start off. And they want you to borrow money from a loan shark because that way you already start with a premise. You have to do illegal jobs. You have to do this and do that. And the, the game master can always keep them in debt, their debts building up, and can always make them go on adventures because they need to pay off their debt. Or if they want upgrades to their ship, they need to pay off their debt. So it's, it's, it, using that premise, uh, the whole story about Lifehold you doing his last job to break even, I think every gamer can go, yes, yes, finally. Maybe he can get on the Dave Ramsey show and go, freedom! Okay, maybe he won't do that. But I did enjoy the story. I thought it was really good. A lot of the adventure journals, as I said, are good stories. And there's one more I want to talk about. It's from Star Wars Adventure Journal number 9. It's called Combat Moon by John Whitman. Now, in this one, fighter 
Mika Streve uh, is training for a you know battle at a you know just like a match, a fighting match on the combat moon and of course he runs rough with the uh, empire and eventually ends up joining the rebellion it's one of those classic stories you know where you know he doesn't have any pit you know he doesn't have a a horse in the race against the rebellion and empire he didn't care who wins but of course the empire messes with his business so now he's going to join the rebellion kind of generic but to be honest it's a fun story as well john whitman is an interesting author because he's written a lot of other stuff for the expanded universe and i think he gets better each time he wrote for the expanded universe the only problem is i can't find this guy online or anywhere i tried to get in touch with him uh, uh last year when i was going through my entire list here because i wanted to ask him a few questions I found a John Whitman. I don't know if it was him, and I didn't hear a response if it was. I went to a publisher who had his name as one of their authors. I said, hey, do you have any contact information? I'd like to email him or talk to him about something. And they didn't have anything on him. So, And I'm not on social media, so maybe that's where he's been hiding in open sight, and it's me that you know just doesn't have the common sense to go look for him there. But yeah, if you know any contact information for John Whitman, let me know. I'd love to talk to the guy. But anyway, that's one of the other Star Wars Adventure Journals that you can read. Uh, should you go ahead and get all the Star Wars Adventure Journals? Yeah, I think you should track them down. I don't know how expensive they are, though. If you can maybe find the PDF copies, that may be your best way to go. Uh, but those Star Wars Adventure Journals by Westin Games were pretty darn good. All right, folks, that's all the time I have for now. See you next time.